Hi, Shane. Uh, I wanted to ask about weather. Uh, that's going to be a big thing for um, up here, you know, the weather, weather advisory, uh, you know, that you guys play play in heat, played in, you know, some extreme uh, conditions last year in Orlando. What's your approach to knowing it's going to be about 90 degrees? Um, yeah, in, in the situation going on Saturday. Yeah, I feel like... Um... I feel like MLS in the summer, that's what it's like, you know. I mean, there's going to be some brutally hot games this summer, you know, whether it be down in Houston or away games in Dallas, even Colorado, I'm sure, will not be fun. But that's just this league, you know, and we got to be able to, you know, grind it out. It's an important game, especially after the, the couple wins that we've had. We need to be able to solidify this week. So, I mean, I think that's just the nature of, of MLS and and – playing through the summer. Shane, what do you think it is about this uh, new formation? You see, you seem to be having one of the best starts of your career. What do you think it is about this new formation that's allowed you to thrive so much? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, um, you know, obviously we played this formation down in Orlando. So I definitely have, you know, had some experience training uh, with the three back system. And I, I also think, obviously, just as a player, you know, when you're playing with the Sounders day in, day out, you know, the standard of training is, you know, obviously very high compared to maybe some other places. So you naturally just improve as a player. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm playing, um, you know, I feel like I'm just playing to my level right now. Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything too crazy, just, you know, really uh, enjoying my games and doing my job. And I think uh, obviously the time in Orlando, I've said it before, I think really helped. Um, and yeah, just want to kind of keep it, keep it rolling. Hey Shane, uh, Brian just got done talking about how AB Sissoko is really soaking in uh, everything that you're bringing to the table in that back three. I loved your take on, on the job that he's done and how you three have worked well together along that back line uh, in these last couple of games. Yeah, you know, I think AB has done a really good job. Um, I think it was, it's been good because it took us about, I would say it took us the first half against LA where we were a little bit disjointed, I think maybe the three of us. And I think we just kind of started to figure out those distances. You know, obviously like that's the one of the, the, the I think one of the things that we got to think about whether it's, especially when there's like guys like new new who's obviously going to play the position a lot differently than a B, you know, Javi's going to play a lot differently than both of those guys. And so I think just kind of figuring out what best suited a B in that role. Um, Cause you don't want to be asking a guy to do something that he might not be comfortable with uh, in terms of stepping out of his position or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I think in terms of that, we're obviously there are still little details. I think there was details in the game against RSL that we need to work on. Um, it's certainly, I mean, we, we, we can improve. Like, there's no question about that. We, 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 we can improve and we need to improve if we want to keep this streak going of not conceding from the run of play. So, um, but it's been a really good start for sure. What are, what are those details that, that you have picked up while watching tape that you feel like you can get better at? Well, I think obviously like, um, you know, when we're out, when we're playing at home, like we want to be able to press, you know, we want to be able to keep teams pinned in. And I think sometimes the distances, uh, they need to be clean. You know, we, when we slide as a unit, we need to slide quickly and, and together. And I think as well, you know, when uh, teams play balls into the box, because I think RSL, you know, obviously with Krylak, they tried to get a few balls into the box and we, we need to, we haven't faced, I feel like, a team that really tried to kind of air, you know, play balls in the air like that. Not that I can remember really. Um, and so it was a different, you know, those crosses, you really got to be dialed in in terms of who's taking who, when do you switch, you know? And I think um, those are the little details that I think we need to keep working on if we want to, you know, keep, like I said, keep it up. Uh, speaking of which communication, what's, uh, how's your communication with Yeymar having so limited, English from his side, and also up uh, to not too long ago, everybody was used to Stefan Fry. You have a lot of communication with the keeper. How's your your communication with the new? 
yeah, me and Yaimar, I feel like have actually got a, a pretty good connection. You know, he understands my pretty bad Spanish and I understand his uh, not so good English. So we, we have a way of figuring it out. And um, I think uh, it's it's been I think it's actually been good this year. It's been a lot better than last year. I think our, our connection with Steph in Cleveland, I think, um, you know, one thing about Steph is he does a lot of homework himself. You know, he does a lot of research watches a lot of film so he knows what you know it's not like he's a, a young kid stepping in there who might not kind of know the tactics of the opponent he really knows what what needs to be done and so it's it's good on the goal kicks being able to kind of analyze and talk through a couple things with him before getting the ball back into play and getting going so um you know it's obviously a work in progress as well but i think it's been pretty pretty positive start You know, uh, Shane, I guess in a sense, all goals count the same, but does it say anything different when you're not conceding from open play as opposed to when you're conceding, you know, like, is it easier to, to look at what you're doing and say like, okay, well, we gave up some free kicks and we gave up some penalties. Like, is, do you take more pride in, in kind of like this streak than you might otherwise take in a kind of like a statistical oddity like that? Honestly, like I would say maybe early on, but the last couple games, not really, you know, I mean, the reality is like when you're not keeping clean, you know, I mean, it's a, at the end of the day, like we've conceded goals in the last two games, you know, and it's like that uh, we, we want to focus on keeping a clean sheet. I mean, that's, that's the goal. And so I think for us, like um, obviously we've conceded quite a bit, of, quite a few penalties this season. Um but, you know, I think if we can kind of keep I, – I think one thing that we've done a pretty good job of, and I don't know if the stats would back this up. I would imagine they have. But I, I don't think we've conceded a lot of big chances in games. Uh, like, and that's, I think, the key. Like, you know, limiting the amount of chances the opposition have, I think, has been, has been pretty good this year. I think we've done a really good job of getting pressure on the ball outside of the 18. Not a lot of teams have, you know, had, you know – us having to have crazy blocked shots in the box, you know, knew who's at a couple, but not nothing insane. So we want to keep doing that and uh, definitely kind of dial in on those penalties. Cause yeah, if I'm being honest, you know, it's, you know, it's all well and good not conceding from the run of play, but if you're, if you're conceding a penalty every, every game or every other game, it's like, well, you know, what, 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 is, what does that really mean? Jane, can you uh, broaden that a little bit? Because that is one of the questions I wanted to ask is if there was a concern about the penalties. Is it is it just con the fact of conceding those or having those? Or do you have a concern about the type of penalties even? Um, no, I wouldn't say there's a big concern there. I mean, I think it's just something that you know, you know, I mean, I'll, there, it's been a kind of a, you know, all of us have had to kind of take a little bit of medicine and, and, and learn our lessons a bit, you know, me being one of them in Portland. Um, and I think you, when you can see the penalty, you kind of, you realize, okay, like um, you, you start to really realize in games, like, okay, now we're in the box. I, I, I really need to work on moving my feet properly and not, you know, conceding, conceding a foul. And so, and I, you know, even you become, more aware of it as you kind of get those reps throughout the season. So um, I wouldn't say it's any glaring issue right now. It's, um, but we just, I think now as, you know, I think, I, I don't know how many guys have conceded a penalty this year, you know, three or four. And, and, and now we all kind of have that awareness. I mean, they're going to happen, but you just kind of have to be a little bit more dialed in as to what you're doing. And uh, like I said, I mean, they're going to happen. So, but you just want to be able to make sure you're doing the right thing. And if, if something unfortunate happens, then that's just the way it is. But we, we got to be kind of smart about like, okay, we're inside the box. You know, we need to be able to move our feet properly and all that. Shane, uh, what comes to your mind when you listen to Sanders is the, um, the team with the least goals and how does that help you to uh, work during practices and your performance during games? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, I mean, obviously it's nice right now, but I mean, the reality is we've played 10 games, you know? I mean, I think that's one thing that we got to keep reminding ourselves. Um, 
like I was, I saw something a couple of days ago that uh, it, it was just funny. I think LAFC had like 72 points a couple of years ago. I think it's like the most in history. And just like, you know, looking at the fact that we have, you know, 24 right now. And it's like, this is a, this is just the beginning of the season. You know, we, we still got a long ways to go. And um, like, even, even tomorrow, you know, we got to make sure that we're, we're keeping that same mindset because, you know, the, we got to keep the momentum rolling. This, like, we, we, we're uh, barely, a, we're not even, a, we're not even a third of the way through, are we? Uh, so it's, it's, it's early days. Um, it's been a good start, obviously, um, but we need to keep doing the right things. Shane, um, you mentioned Stephen Cleveland and how hard he works and all the time he puts into it. So, I mean, are you surprised? I mean, how much confidence do you have in him? It's, it seems like it's been a seamless trans, transition between Stephen Fry and him. I mean, nobody, there are not a lot of goalkeepers that are, that are Stephen Fry, but the way Stephen Cleveland's played so far, I mean, how would you assess that? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's done well. He's done well, you know, he's, uh, but I mean, you, I, I feel like that kind of has been sort of the story of the season so far, you know, I feel like Nico went down early and there was a lot of question marks about the team. Josh stepped in, he did fantastic. Um, a B, uh, Stephen Cleveland, you know, you kind of name it, um, guys have been able to come into this team and be able to perform. And I think that's just a testament to sort of the team as a whole. Um, and I mean, you got Spencer chomping at the bit behind Stephen Cleveland, who I'm sure if he stepped in, he would do a fantastic job as well. So I, I think that's that's you know that's the beauty of having guys who have experience and are good pros and, and you know can get the job done. And you know, I think you know you look at the core group of guys that have been playing most of the games this year, and they've been performing at a really high level. So for the guys coming in. It, it makes their job a little bit easier, you know, and, and so hopefully we can kind of keep um, helping Steph out. And, I, you know, I, to be fair, I don't think he's had to face like an insane amount of action. And I think I, I think if we can continue to do that, it's going to be beneficial for the team. Guys, any remaining questions for Shane? Jeremiah, you have one? Yeah, you know, not to harp too much on the on the weather, but do you know the hottest – like, do you, is that something you're aware of, the hottest uh, game you ever played in? I mean, playing in Orlando, man, like, come on now. That was uh, – that was there was some suffering going on down there. So, uh, I don't – to be honest, I don't think it's going to be as bad as that. I mean, I remember actually playing Vancouver at, like, a 12 o'clock kickoff one year. I don't know who, uh, who came up with that idea, but uh, there was some – carnage in orlando so like i said i mean i think uh i think we're gonna be okay up in you know one off game in seattle tomorrow but um yeah the hottest game ever i'm sure was down there sometime jada i see your hand raised uh go for it thanks thanks shane i just wanted to ask uh what has freddie brought to the uh, locker room this season freddie montero I think he's brought uh, an enormous amount, actually. You know, I think um, it's funny. You know, obviously, there's these guys that you know you don't know, but you know of around the league. And um, just I, I was, uh, you know, it's been amazing him coming in and just no, number one, uh, the guy that he is. Uh, I think he's brought a lot to the kind of camaraderie of the group and making guys feel close knit. You know, all the boys are going up to Santo to get their coffees and uh, just uh, also, I mean, obviously on the field, he's done a really, really good job. I mean, even last game, I know it was only five or six minutes, but just the way he came in, settled the team down, kept the ball, helped run the game out. And uh, obviously he's bagged a few goals for us as well. So overall, I think it's been a really, really great uh, addition. Um, and, you know, one that it was kind of like, you just didn't know what to expect. And so it's been, a, it's been awesome that he's been, you know, so good in the locker room and uh, helped us out on the pitch. If I could sneak a, a follow-up when you said, so you didn't, you knew of him, like what was reputation and what was like your initial, did it, did it match or was it different than what you expected? No, I mean, I, I think uh, like, 
just had no idea really what to expect. Obviously he'd been in Vancouver for the last couple of years and I don't think Vancouver had been super successful. Um, and so just like the, the amount of quality that he's brought to the team has been, has been a, a real like pleasant addition and, uh, the way he keeps possession, especially when teams are tired. Um, but yeah, and just his ability to finish as well in tight situations is really, really good. So all in all, like everything has been like, really, really impressive.